Dear friends, have you ever wondered how a single mistake could change the fate of hundreds forever? Today, we uncover one of aviation's most heartbreaking stories, a tale of human error and unimaginable consequences. Join us as we dive into the tragic mystery of American Airlines Flight 191. American Airlines, the largest airline in the world. But did that title always guarantee safety? They earned this title back in 1936 and still hold it today. But sometimes being big doesn't mean being perfect. In the 1970s, American Airlines was negotiating with Boeing and McDonnell Douglas, a decision that would change aviation history forever. Boeing was building the most famous aircraft in the world, the Boeing 747, a giant in the sky, wide-bodied, perfect for long routes. But McDonnell Douglas was developing a passenger jet called the DC-10, smaller and cheaper than the 747. But was cheaper really better? 47, but able to land at almost any commercial airport. Introducing the new DC-10 Luxury Liner with a lounge and coach and first class. American And here's where the tragedy begins. American Airlines made a fateful choice, one that later became one of the biggest mistakes in aviation history. Instead of ordering the 747, they ordered dozens of DC-10s. Little did anyone know, this decision would lead to one of the most devastating disasters ever. In 1972, the first DC-10 was ready for service, but only for cargo. During one flight, a door detached mid-air, yet miraculously, the plane landed safely. No one was hurt, but was this a warning ignored? Just two years later, another DC-10, now owned by Turkish Airlines, was filled with 335 passengers taking off for London. But moments after takeoff, a section of the rear fuselage tore away. The plane became unbalanced, a helpless giant in the sky. The pilots fought desperately, but control was impossible. The aircraft plunged toward the ground, disintegrating on impact. All 335 souls on board perished, along with the crew. The DC-10, barely introduced to the market, had already caused two disasters. Then, on May 25, 1979, another DC-10, American Airlines Flight 191, sat at Chicago's O'Hare Airport, packed with passengers, fuel tanks full, 271 people on board, bound for Los Angeles. The crew was experienced. Captain Walter Lux, 53, First Officer James Dillard, 49, Flight Engineer Alfred Udovich, 56. They had thousands of flight hours between them, professionals at the top of their game. At 3.04 p.m., air traffic control gave the green light. The plane taxied onto the runway, engines roaring. Speed built rapidly, 250 kilometers per hour, V1 speed, the point of no return. The nose lifted, but then a loud noise, like something tearing away. The cockpit voice recorder captured Captain Luck's final word, damn. Then, silence. Power lost, communications dead. An air traffic controller watched in horror as the plane tilted violently sideways, one engine completely missing. The unbalanced aircraft, a bomb with full tanks, couldn't gain altitude or return to land. It was like a car with no steering at 200 kilometers per hour on a winding road. Seconds later, it crashed into a maintenance hangar near the airport. A massive explosion followed, destroying buildings, shaping the ground miles away. No one survived. Not a single intact body was found. All 271 perished, 
along with two workers in the hangar. This became the deadliest aviation accident on American soil. Experts rushed to the scene, baffled. How could an engine simply detach? The answer lay not in design, but in maintenance. Months earlier, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, mechanics had replaced the left engine using a shortcut. They detached the engine and its pylon together, faster, cheaper, and deadly. They installed it crooked, loose, and negligent. When investigators checked other DC-10s, they found cracks in pylons across the fleet. If not grounded, more engines would have torn off. The FAA fined American Airlines $500,000, but no amount could compensate for the lives lost. The mechanic who signed off on Flight 191's pre-flight check, a man named Al Russell, was consumed by guilt. Months later, he took his own life. This tragedy became a permanent lesson in aviation. Negligence and shortcuts cost lives. Every action must be taken with responsibility and care. The DC-10 eventually returned to service after fixes were made and flew safely for years. But the memory of Flight 191 remains etched in history. A reminder that in aviation, there are no small mistakes, only consequences. This crash wasn't just a tragedy. It was a wake-up call. A reminder that in aviation, there is no room for shortcuts. Every bolt matters. Every life matters. Today, we remember the 271 lives lost, not just as victims, but as lessons that made flying safer for all of us. If this story moved you, like and subscribe for more real-life tragedies that changed the world forever. Stay curious and stay safe.